Monopoly Socialism, How to Play. The object of the game is to be the first player to place all 10 of their contribution chips. Everyone loses the game if the community fund runs out. Lay out the board. Place $1,848 in the community fund. The rest of the money stays with the box as the bank. There are no properties, but instead projects. Place each project card next to its corresponding position on the board. Shuffle the chance deck and place it face down on its spot on the board. Each player picks a token and places it on go. Put the stickers on the die in any arrangement if you haven't already, and place the dice next to the board. Each player receives 10 contribution chips of the same color. The oldest player goes first, then play proceeds clockwise. On your turn, roll both dice and move your token and perform any actions. If the action die shows a 2, 3, or 4, add that to the standard die roll and move your piece. If the action die shows a times 2, then you double the roll of the other die. A plus 1 means to draw one chance card, and a plus 2 means you draw two chance cards. If you roll doubles, then you get to take another turn unless this is the third time you've rolled doubles in a row. Then you go straight to jail and you end your turn. When you land on a project that is unmanaged, you can choose to manage it or auction it. If you don't have enough money to pay for the project, then the rest of the money comes out of the community fund. The community fund is money that is shared by all the players and it is always used if a player doesn't have enough of their own money to pay with. If you choose not to manage the project, then you must auction it off. You are not allowed to bid on a project you are auctioning. Bidding starts at $5 and can increase in increments as little as 5. You don't need to bid in turn order. The auction ends when no player is willing to increase the bid. The highest bidder pays the bank. If that player doesn't have enough money, then the community fund makes up the rest. If no player wants to bid, then the project remains with the bank. After you pay for a project, you take the project card and put it in front of you. If you're managing any projects, you may self-develop one project at the beginning of your turn before you roll. To self-develop, add a contribution chip to the project card and pay the bank the self-development fee listed on that card. When you land on a project that's managed by you or another player, you can choose to contribute to it. If the project is managed by another player, pay that player $10 and add one of your chips to any open space on that project card. If you manage the project, then pay the $10 to the bank instead. All payments must come from your own funds first before they can come from the community fund. A project is fully developed when all the spaces on the project card are filled with contribution chips. No more chips can be placed on a fully developed project. If you land on a fully developed project, then the bank must pay the manager of that project and the community fund the amount shown on the project card. If you manage two fully developed projects in a color set and a player lands on one of them, then the bank pays you and the community fund the increased indicated amount. Whenever a player passes go, every player collects $50 as a living wage from the bank. Every player must then contribute at least $5 to the community fund. When you land on chance, draw the top card of the chance deck. If the card says, play this card immediately, then you must immediately do what the card says, then discard it to the bottom of the deck. Otherwise, you may keep the chance card and play it at a future time. If you already have a chance card when you draw, and the drawn card isn't a play this card immediately card, then you must pick one card to keep and discard the rest to the bottom of the deck. When you land on a community shuttle spot, you may pay the bank $50 from the community fund to move to any project between that community shuttle space and the next community shuttle space on the board. If you wish to move further, you may pay another $50 from the community fund for each community shuttle spot you pass. 
If you pass Go while using the Community Shuttle, then no player collects $50. If you land on free parking or just visiting, then nothing happens. If you land on Go to Jail, then you go immediately to jail and the bank collects $50 from the community fund and your turn ends. While you are in jail, players can still contribute to projects you manage and you can auction and trade, but you cannot self-develop or use the community fund. To get out of jail, you may either, at the start of your turn, pay $50 from your own funds, use a get out of jail free card, or roll a six with the standard die. If you do any of those, then roll both dice and move and continue your turn as normal. You are allowed to use three turns to try to roll a six. If you are unable to roll a six by your third turn, then you must pay the $50 from your own funds and roll and continue your turn as normal. If you do not have enough money, then all the other players must contribute however they agree until you have $50. If there still isn't enough money, then you may use the community fund. You can buy, sell, or swap projects with other players at any time. Projects can be traded for cash, other projects, and or get out of jail free cards. The amount is decided by the players making the deal. Traded projects retain their current contribution chips. If a player has no money and they need to pay for something other than to get out of jail, they must take it from the community fund. The first player to place all 10 of their contribution chips wins. Or, if the community fund runs out of money before then, then every player loses.